Again, we're continuing a series working with Vim. I hope you're enjoying this series, new video every Wednesday. Check out the link in the description for the full playlist. As always, I thank you for joining us today, but I do recommend watching the previous videos before you get to this video because we're gonna be glossing over stuff we've gone over in previous videos. Uh, but I will try to uh, do some refreshers on stuff. But again, uh, I can show you the current directory I'm in. I have index.html. Uh, there's a folder called JS with some J JavaScript files in them, and there's some subfolders with another JavaScript file in it. If I go into my index file, uh, with the settings we've created in previous tutorials, I can do find uh, main JS to open that. I can do find um, Linux JS to open that, and I can do find. Whoops. Ah. I can do find, find, I'm getting tired, find, um, uh, test is the other one that we've been playing around with. Uh, so now I showed you I can call in list and I can list all the files I have opened up in the different buffers and we've learned that we can autocomplete from each one of them and we can switch between them by typing in their name so I can go uh, B and I can do index and tab complete that to go to the index. I'm going to do B for buffer and I can do uh, Linux JS to go to that one and I can do colon B test JS <laughs> to go to that one uh, but there's other ways you can do this so you can move back and forth from one buffer to another in order by doing colon B next and you can tab complete so B next will bring you to the next one uh, if I do that again and again you can hit up arrow after hitting colon to bring up previous commands so I can just keep on going through each one but I'm still hitting four keys for each one of those I'm doing shift colon up enter and that only that's only if that was the previous command I typed and I can also do B previous uh, so colon B previous and again I tab complete that will bring you to the previous one. So you can go forward or back through them, but that's still a pain in the butt to type all that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to remap some keys. And I want to say in a previous video uh, I did on uh, creating commands, uh, we created some commands that you could type. I called that, I think I might have accidentally said remapping in that, which technically is wrong. And there are many different types of remapping. I'm not going to get into it today. Today we're going to use and no remap. <laughs> Sounds like a lot. So what we're going to do here is again, we're outside of insert mode, and what we're going to type in is we're going to type in colon n n o r e m a p so n no remap space colon capital C dash n uh, did I say colon greater than symbol capital C dash n uh, close that tag uh, space and then we're going to say colon b next. And then we're going to say it inside these uh, greater than less than symbols here, CR. And so what we just did was we've set it up so now when we're not in insert mode, I can hit this dash, this C dash N means control N. I can hit control N and I can just start going through each one of our files one at a time by hitting control N. And now we can do the same thing by typing a similar command, I'm going to do control dash P and I will do previous. Did I spell previous right? Yes, I believe I did. Uh, so now I can do control N to go forward and control P to go back. So I can quickly go through all the files I have open in the different buffers. Now again, like everything else, those uh, commands that we run there uh, aren't permanent unless we put them in our vimrc file which again is a script that runs every time we start up vim it's in our home directory it's a hidden file so it's dot vimrc if it doesn't already exist you can create it this is the one we've created so far in the previous weeks and uh, I'm just going to cheat and copy and paste here so again our colon um, oh, do I need the colon there when it's inside the uh, vimrc file let's find out um, I'm forgetting what I've done in the past. Okay, so, oh, let's see, I have to open up some files. So, find test, find Linux, find main. Yep, 
So I was right typing it that way. I was 100% sure. Great when you're teaching a tutorial and you have no clue what you're doing. Anyway, I'm doing colon and no remap. And then again, this this means this C dash N, the capital C means control. It is case sensitive. So control N, control P, and we're replacing. So when you press those, it's actually running these functions here. And again, that works now. Anytime I open up a file and I have um, more than one file open inside buffers, I can now control P. I'm just holding down control and tapping P or control N to go forward, control P to go back. So I'm hoping you're enjoying these tutorials. And if you are, be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris K. link in the description. Yada, yada, yada. You've been watching these videos. I would really appreciate some support, patreon.com or PayPal. If not, like, share, or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to check out all the links.